In this video, I'm going to show you how to make and receive calls via your Google Gmail. So obviously you have to have a Gmail account and usually you'll get that when you uh, get a Google account. Now you can make the calls without having Google Voice but in order to receive calls you have to have a number associated with your Gmail so you have to have a Google Voice number uh, which is very convenient uh, there's a lot of videos on, on Google Voice but uh, uh, you get that number and you can forward the calls to as many phones as you want so that's another video uh, that you can watch but here I just want to look at uh, how to make and receive calls from uh, uh, Gmail uh, and it's very convenient, especially uh, like in my case, a few weeks ago, I had uh, uh, no access to a cell phone. My AT&T landline was out of commission for a week. So I went online, did a little research, and found out how to make calls and receive calls uh, uh, via my uh, Gmail account. Uh, long distance calls are free. Uh, it, it's a very nice uh, thing to have, uh, especially if you don't have other means of making calls. Uh, so anyway, uh, Make sure you have a Google account, a Gmail, and if you're going to uh, make calls on Gmail, your your Google Voice account has to have the same username as your Gmail account. So, so keep that in mind. And uh, uh, I was not able to do it uh, if I logged in via Internet Explorer. So I used Google Chrome, and it worked uh, fine for me as as the uh, the browser. So here we have my uh, inbox here. And when I first set this up, like I said, I, I was able to make calls, but I couldn't receive calls because I didn't have the Google number, so I had to go back and, and create that. And all you really need is a, is a, is a microphone or a headset to hook up to your computer, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, but you do have to have, like I said, Google Voice. So here's my account for Google Voice, and you have to make sure over here when you're when you log into your Google Voice account. Uh, if I click here on the uh, upper right, on this little gear here, and go to Settings, I want to make sure that this right here, Google Chat, is checked. That will allow you to uh, receive the calls. Okay, so make sure that's checked and of course you have your Google Voice number and then once you're here on your uh, main page of your uh, Gmail uh, at the bottom left corner there's a little phone click on that and actually you can see it here I didn't have to click on it it's already here you see the phone it has make make it make a call so I'll click on that and then this little screen comes up and I already have my contacts there but if you don't have anything you would just enter the number here enter the number the uh, the area code in the number and in the US all the calls are free you can make international calls you have to pay for those uh, it's uh, very cheap but I'm not gonna be making any internet uh, or any uh, international calls here so you can enter the number if you, or if you have your contacts here like I do you can just click on the contact and it makes the, it makes the call I have Time Warner listed here. The number there is 800-222-5355. Uh, if you add the number, area code in the number, uh, Gmail will put the one automatically. But I'm just going to click on Time Warner here and make the call. Good afternoon. Welcome to Time Warner Cable. This call may be monitored or recorded. Para español, más que cinco. You can respond to this system using your voice or the touchtone keypad. To switch to touchtone only, press star 99 at any time. Starting with the area code, please tell me the 10-digit phone number associated with your account. Or say, I don't have an account. I don't have an account. No problem. If you're calling to get new service, say new service. If not, say it's for something else. Something else. 
You're calling about something else. Is that right? Right. Okay. In a few words, please tell me. Okay, I ended the call because that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to get through and for you to see that they can hear me and I obviously can hear them. So that's how you uh, make a call. And, and again, uh, one thing I, I do want to tell you is b before you can receive calls, you have to make at least one call out. Okay, once you make one call out, then you can receive calls uh, using uh, that uh, Google number. So I'm going to see if I can get somebody to call me right now and you can see what, what the screen looks like. Okay, I'm going to use my uh, cell phone and, and call my Google Voice number so you, can see, so you can see what the screen looks like when a call is coming in. And when the call comes in, I do have the option to take the call, decline the call. They leave a voicemail. The voicemail will go to my Gmail account. And uh, keep in mind that when you make a call, if you don't have a, a Google Voice number, uh, the caller ID and the person you're calling will say unavailable. Now, once you get your Google Voice number, it will show the number that uh, your account has. So let me let me dial my Google number, Google Voice number. On the lower left-hand corner, you see Tony is calling. I can decline or I can answer. The call. I'm going to decline, but that's what you would do. Okay? You can pick it up or decline it. They leave a voicemail. It will go to your Gmail account. So you can get you can hear your voicemail in your Gmail account. Uh, now I also have the option should I have, should I should I pick up a call uh, if I want to take off somewhere and maybe uh, get the call somewhere else if you have your uh, calls forwarded to another number say your cell number and you're on the run you can go ahead and hit star in the middle of your conversation and it will transfer the call uh, to your uh, cell phone okay so uh, in closing uh, just to say again that uh, uh, you can make the calls without having a Google Voice number but if you want to receive calls on your computer, uh, you have to have a Google Voice number. Now keep in mind, you do have to be logged into Gmail in order to pick up the call on your computer. Uh, but uh, if you have it forwarded, like in my case, I have that uh, forwarded to my landline phone. So when it, somebody were to call it, it also rings my house phone. Okay, so this concludes the video and we'll check you out in the next video.